Matt and the team had a long weekend on the road this past week, which ended in mixed emotions. Yeah, um, obviously a big high on Friday night and, and a tough loss on, on, on the Sunday. Um, you know, uh, I guess some people would be satisfied with splitting a, a doubleheader against two very, very good teams, but um, yeah, we've come off the floor and, and obviously we're not we're not satisfied. It was uh, it was a good game for the fans. It was obviously a good game for the league. I think you know in terms of the closeness and the competitiveness. Um, I think both teams um, well disciplined and, 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 and have system. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't close it out. It was a, the Glasgow game was a fantastic game to watch, as was the Newcastle game. But the Glasgow game was so back and forth, two very competitive teams. Um, how do the players react to that defeat, obviously being so close in the end? I, know, I think it's 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 often easier to rationalise a a fifteen point split or a twenty point split, but when it's um, you know a couple of points and you know there's a, a little bit of a chaotic end in in, in a sense. You know, there's uh, close to the fourth quarter. We 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 did a good job. We we pulled it back and we gave ourselves an opportunity in overtime. Um, but I think the reality is is when overtime came. Uh, they they stepped up and uh, we could, we we didn't go with them or we couldn't go with them. Um, you know we we managed the game pretty well uh, up until that point. And we, we were still in it, um, but like you say, it was back and forth. And you know you sometimes you got to be a bit more precious about a four point split. Or, you know earlier in the game yeah. or, or an extra possession, you got to be more precious about and understand what you're trying to get out of it. Um, but nobody could. Uh, doubt the effort of the team. Uh, nobody could doubt the um, their application. It's just you know sometimes our decisions didn't necessarily make a, uh, make for the best mm -hmm. return. Well, this Friday we're back on our home court against Sheffield Sharks, the first time we welcome to Worcester this season. Um, a team very much in form at the moment in the league. Yeah, they're very good. You know, I think some people probably wrote them off at the beginning of the year, and I think there's a. There's a na naive contingent of the British basketball fraternity. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, they needed time to form, like any team. Um, the perimeter is very, very good. Uh, I think uh, McKay McKnight um, and Nick Lewis are very, very dynamic. And when you add Connor Corshaw to that, the the perimeter is um, very much one that can give returns from uh, a number of different angles. And um, you complement that with a uh, Rob Mars and a Mike Tuck. And, the the import that they brought in um, Benedict Koch, uh, he's 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 come into his own recently. The centre, so um, they're a handful, and we need to be able to make sure that we did the scouting. Uh, we showed due diligence and uh, recognised that Atiba and his team are, are, are looking for the the highest playoff spot they can uh, get. Uh, finally, what's your mindset at this stage of the season with the way things are turning out in the league? Obviously, it's a very competitive year in the BBLs. So where, where's your mindset at this current situation? I think it hasn't really, really changed. You know, uh, once we once we got over the bridge of the, uh, the Christmas break and um, the cup run ended, essentially, um, we 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 got a sense of where we could be. Um, I think we need to fight for a, a top two position or, or have the aspiration to fight for a top uh, top two position. Because obviously that bodes well in terms of the um, the way the playoffs have been formed this year. Um, so our mindset should be focusing on each game uh, and and using it as a stepping stone towards that agenda and uh, trying to force teams uh, to to really beat us. That's great. Thank you, Matt. Cheers.